guys, this is Miss Jacobson back with another poetry lesson. Our lesson goal for today is that we will be able to deepen our understanding of a poem by analyzing it with TPCast. As a reminder, TPCast stands for title, paraphrase, connotation, attitude slash tone, shifts, title again, and theme. We use TPCast to analyze poetry so that our analysis doesn't end up sounding like this. Such poetry, much deep words, wow. Um, first off, if you hand me a poetry analysis that sounds like that, A, you didn't use TPCast. B, I'm gonna hand that right back to you. Do not hand something like that to your English teacher. There's a reason we teach you TPCast. Our poem today is In the Wood by Sarah Teasdale. And Sarah Teasdale is one of my favorite poets ever. On your TPCast in OneNote, there's a page for you to TPCast step by step. Go ahead if you haven't already, and you need to do the first step of TPCast, which is title. Based on just the title, In the Wood, what do you think this poem's gonna be about? Pause your video. I'm going to give you just a minute to think about it. Okay, hopefully now you have gone and you have analyzed what you think the poem might be about, just based on the title In the Wood. So now I'm going to go ahead and read you the poem In the Wood by Sarah Teasdale. I heard the waterfall rejoice, singing like a choir. I saw the sun flash out of it azure and amber fire. The earth was like an open flower, enameled and arrayed. The path I took to find its heart fluttered with sun and shade. And while the earth lured me gently, gently, happy and all alone, suddenly a heavy snake reared back upon a stone. Remember, I've read it to you once. You need to read this poem a total of three times. And while you're reading this poem, you're also going to need to look for any new vocabulary that you have to understand before you can understand the poem. Some possible words that I see that I might need to look up include rejoice, azure, enameled, and arrayed. But you may see more or less words. If you don't know the vocab, you can't move on to the next step, which is paraphrasing. So remember, read that poem three times, look up the vocab before you paraphrase, and then you're going to finish your TPCast. If you haven't already, find the document in your literature OneNote called In the Woods. Use the annotation tool, whether that be the drawing tool or the text box tool, to fill in each part of TPCast. 